Time for your morning news now. Trump's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, is expected to testify this week in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial. Prosecutors say Cohen paid adult film actress Stormy Daniels to be silent about her affair with Trump before he was reimbursed by the former president. Trump's attorney says the payments to Cohen were a retainer and that it was not against the law to pay to stop rumors that the defense argues were unfounded. Jury selection is also set to begin today in Senator Bob Menendez's federal corruption trial. The New Jersey Democrat and his wife are accused of taking bribes from Egypt and Qatar for political favors. Prosecutors say Menendez raked in hundreds of thousands of dollars to fund his lavish lifestyle. Menendez and his wife have pleaded not guilty. The war in Gaza has led to campus protests across the country, including in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Last week, advocates for an economic boycott of Israel pressed the University of Minnesota to divest from Israeli companies. The University of Minnesota's endowment is more than $2 billion. The actual investment in Israeli companies is just over $2 million. But for those who are advocating for boycott, divest and sanctioning Israel, also called BDS. It's not about the amount, it's about the principle. BDS isn't a new tactic, but it's gained steam since Israel's retaliation against the Hamas terrorist attacks on October 7th. One UMN senior telling the Board of Regents the war has killed about a dozen members of her family, including her cousin. Thousands of my tuition dollars and other students' tuition dollars are invested in companies that build the bombs and machinery that are being used to kill my family and now over 40,000 Palestinians. A deeper dive in a university's portfolio shows investments in 32 Israeli companies only has direct ties to defense. The others are in fields like pharmaceuticals, software, artificial intelligence, even water meters and conservation. During Friday's listening session, Jewish students were also given time to speak, warn the Board of Regents against giving what they called toxic and divisive rhetoric. There's no timetable for when and if the board will consider taking action. A federal judge is tossing Democrats' lawsuit challenging Wisconsin's absentee voting requirements. Four Wisconsin voters behind the lawsuit argued the state violated the Federal Voting Rights Act by requiring a witness signature on ballot envelopes. The voters said they struggled to secure a witness signature because of health risk, age, and frequent travel overseas. The judge who tossed the lawsuit says the requirement is a reasonable way for the state to try to deter voter fraud. Happening today, if you take Midwest Drive to get to work, you may want to give yourself some extra time this morning. According to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, road work is set to begin today on Midwest Drive between Theater Road and East Main Street in Alaska. During the first part of the construction, the road will be turned into a westbound one-way street to allow access to businesses located on that street. Following completion of the first part, traffic will then be rerouted to only being able to go eastbound until construction is complete. The DOT did not provide an estimation on when the flow of traffic will be switched from westbound to eastbound, but did estimate that the road work will be completed by August 9th. An air quality alert has been issued for all of Minnesota. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency issued the alert saying air quality is expected to reach an unhealthy level for everybody. That's due to heavy smoke coming from wildfires in British Columbia. The MCPA advises sensitive groups to limit time spent outdoors. The alert will remain in effect until noon today. Yeah, and Michael, that air quality alert includes most of the state of Wisconsin as well. So just keep that in mind. In fact, you can see that smoky haze through CityCam 8 this morning with the sunrise. But uh, again, a lot of haze near the surface and temperatures starting this morning in the 40s and 50s. Not quite as warm today when we were in the 80s yesterday, but still above average. Low to mid 70s, slight chance of showers in our far southern communities. Dry tomorrow and Wednesday and then fairly uh, active with periodic chances for rain Wednesday night right through the weekend. Lots of dry time each day as well.